We've got a fantastic guest we're going to bring to the table. He's so talented, this guy. He's an Oscar-nominated actor who says if they ever make a movie about him, he wants his brother to play the lead. I like that. Well, he and his brother, they're teaming up now on the big screen. Please welcome the disaster artist, James Franco. Best smiles ever. <laughs> I did get uh, best smile in my high school yearbook. Did you? <laughs> but I had uh, I had braces at the time, so it's a picture of best smile. I'm like this. <laughs> but you know what? Congratulations on everything. Mm. You're so wow. talented. Woo! Yes, this movie. This movie's getting a lot of buzz. It's, it's about the making of a movie called The Room, which was called the best worst movie yeah. ever. Citizen Kane of bad movies. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a cult classic. People line up at midnight to watch screenings yeah. all the time. Now, I was one. You haven't, you haven't gone, though. No, I, not the I was like, screen. Michael had gone. Not, yeah. the, not the midnight screenings. I fell okay. asleep. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Were you one of those, but, those cult people who were like I actually was not. Movie? So it's been playing for 14 and a half years, wow. once a month in almost every major city. I mean, it plays in London, Paris, Tokyo. And the guy, Tommy, mm -hmm. he goes around and he is like, he's like the king of, you know, they are, get so excited. What's his deal? <laughs> That's exactly the question. <laughs> what is his deal? Well, there's three mysteries about Tommy, okay? How old he is, because he said he was in his 20s when he made The Room. Uh, he's probably in his late 40s. Uh, where he's from, because he, so he sound like this. I played him in the movie. So he sound like this. Which you would guess is maybe like Eastern Europe, but he said he's from New Orleans, all-American <laughs> guy. And, uh, and then where he got the money, because the room, despite looking like it was made for $60, cost $6 million. Mm. And he, he, he financed the whole thing. He says it was from his, like, Levi's jean-selling outlet, but, like... <laughs> I'm like, Tommy, there's no way you sold $6 million worth of jeans. And, and he's like, James, you embarrass yourself. You don't know anything about retail. And I'm like, OK, Tommy. So I <laughs> it's hard to keep, because you direct and star. You have to stay in character throughout. How do you do that? It was, I'm sure it was more bizarre for everyone else, my brother and Seth Rogen mm. and everyone. I, um, but I was, I was directing the film. I was acting in it, playing. A character that was a director and an acting <laughs> in his own movie. Guessed, yeah. You were directing, like really directing the film. Did you talk like Tommy? So I talk like Tommy. I guess, <laughs> but <laughs> so I'm sure it was bizarre. But it also like set an atmosphere because they're all playing actors in the Tommy's movie. So it just sort of like I think it made it easier. They like we had a lot of cameos. We had like Brian Cranston, mm. Sharon Stone, wow. Melanie Griffith, all these you know incredible yeah. people. But every time, and like every great comedian around, uh, Hannibal Burris, everyone, everybody that came to set, I didn't know this until later, but they would, my brother and Seth would like prep them. They'd be like, okay, oh, the no. set isn't normal. <laughs> James is directing in character. Can, like, so can really quick thing, because we want to show a clip, but can you yeah. just tell them one of the people that came to visit was Seth's grandparents. Okay. And, and, and you've known Seth, you guys have known each other for 20 I've, years. Yes, since so, the, geeks, so tell yes. everybody this story really quick. Well, obviously, I, they, Seth brings his, his family to every set, the grandparents, <laughs> parents, his wife, Lauren, and they know me. They're like, oh, and like, they did not get it. Because it's like two and a half hours of prosthetics every morning, and they were like, where's, <laughs> where's James? <laughs> and then <laughs> Lauren, his wife, who I've known almost as long as the grandparents, she just wasn't having it. She hated it. Like, I was dead to her <laughs> for, like, three months. Like, she just did not want to be around until James that man. guy. Yeah. You guys want to yeah. see some? Yes! Can you do an accent? Oh, uh, no, no. What would you mean? Because I'm hearing a kind of Eastern European accent. No, I've, um, that's from New Orleans. Where? What? New Orleans, you heard, you know. Where? That'd be easy. Oh, New Orleans! <laughs> I didn't know what you okay, were saying. Right, yeah. Okay, well. can we just try to lose the accent? Take it again. <laughs> so, so, what does Tommy think about all this? Tommy, like, we've 
talked about is a bit of a mystery wrapped in an enigma, <laughs> but I think he loves it. I asked him finally, like he, he didn't want to watch it alone. We were going to screen it for him alone. He wanted to watch it with a thousand people at South by Southwest <laughs> oh. for the first time. It was fortunately like an incredible screening, and I, but he sat there with the glasses on in the theater watching the thing, and he wasn't making any reaction. I was like, oh man, maybe he hates it. <laughs> and uh, I asked him after, I was like, okay, Tommy, what do you think? He's like, well, I approve 99.9%. And, <laughs> and I go, no, and I go, what's the, no, 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 I go, what's the point 1%, right? And you think he's gonna be like, well, I never said that, or I never did that, and he goes, um, director to director, he goes, um, yeah. I think you should look at lighting and beginning of film is a little off, right? And I'm like, I'm like that and then I realized, no, but I realized he's wearing the glasses the whole time. <laughs> I, I tell you what, you created another classic. Oh my gosh. Thank you. you know that, you really Thank have. You. Thank you. And it is the, the, the disaster artist. It is in theaters Great. now. Make yes. sure you go check out James Franklin, everybody. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.